Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be taking some creative self portraits in my home studio and I wanna show you guys a very simple one light setup with a couple of creative ways that you can use it for your own studio photography. I also wanna compare the studio lighting to some natural light in the studio as well and I wanna say a big thank you to Canva for sponsoring today's video. So I'm gonna start off by showing you guys around and what we'll be using today. I'm gonna to be using my trusty Sony a7 III on a tripod with the GM 35 millimeter f1.4. I do have a little monitor attached to the tripod as well, just to help me out with composition, but I will be using my phone to control the camera and press the shutter. In terms of light, I'm using the AD600 Pro and I'm using a strip softbox on it for a couple of reasons. The first one is that we're shooting against a matte black backdrop in a tight space and I want the blacks in the background to be really rich and deep. So having a strip light will help the light be more directional to only hit my face and not the background. If you have more space, you can use a larger softbox and place it further away from your background and subject, but I can't do that here. <laughs> I also added a grid to the softbox to help with the light being more directional. And I'm sitting about a meter away from the wall and the front of the softbox is then also about a meter away from me. So all in all, I'm working with a room that's about three meters long. Oops, I blinked. <laughs> The second reason I'm using a strip softbox is the catch light. I really like rectangle softboxes since the catch light in the eyes will look more like a window and it's a more subtle effect rather than having big round catch lights in the eyes. I want these photos to look quite moody but still have a classic and clean look to them. I'm placing the softbox directly above and in front of me as I want the catch light to be towards the top of my iris. <laughs> I can't tell when I pressed it. <laughs> I don't want these photos to be too dark, so I'm using a bunch of baby's breath that will contrast nicely from the background. I've put them on a C-stand so I can have my hands free to press the shutter and pose. I'm placing them really close to the lens for some foreground blur and around the edges of the frame to add some depth to these portraits. Anyone who's tried taking self-portraits with props in one hand and a shutter release in the other, all while trying to pose, will know how frustrating it can all be. So remember, stands can be your own personal assistant. <laughs> I like how those are looking so far, but I wanna get some shots where I'm a little bit closer up to the camera too. So at the moment I have the flash set to one over 128 and my camera settings are, my shutter's on one over 320, my ISO is on 160 and my aperture is always stuck at f1.4. <laughs> so those are my current camera settings. And I think here is some good framing for some close up portraits. I'm gonna try and hold the baby breath a little bit more to the side there. So for these photos, I want slightly more awkward framing. I kind of want to be either in the center of the frame or towards the bottom of the frame and just have like a lot of negative space. So we'll play around with that and see what we get. Also, I was reading through your comments from my other self-portrait videos and I saw a few comments of you guys saying that all you need is a pretty dress to take some nice photos. So today, I thought I'd go very chill with my outfit. I'm just wearing a pair of jeans and I have a jumper, which I'm pretty sure everyone's got something similar, just to show you that you don't need a dress or any fancy outfits to take some nice portraits. Since I am predominantly a natural light shooter, I thought it would be fun to take some natural window light photos in this space as well. And I can put up the studio and the natural light photos side by side, just so we can see the differences. But before we do that, this video is sponsored by Canva, so I wanna let you guys know more about them. Canva Pro is an easy to use online design and publishing tool. 
I really like to use it to create elements for my photography business and social media accounts. With one subscription of Canva Pro, you have access to over 60 million premium assets, creative templates, stock photos, and more. You can also work with teams on Canva Pro where you can collaborate on designs together in real time. One of my favorite tools in Canva Pro is being able to create really beautiful Instagram stories to share before and afters of my photo shoots. I design it online and share it straight to my phone in high resolution. So if you wanna check it out and try it for yourself, you can use the link in my description to get a 45 day extended free trial of Canva Pro. So let's go take some natural light photos. I wanna make the tripod smaller as I thought it would be interesting for me to sit on the ground just so I could have some different poses compared to sitting on the stool. I've got the same camera settings that I was using for the studio light shots before. To get the best natural light from a window, you wanna be as close to it as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up my ISO, maybe to 500, and I'll bring my shutter speed down a little lower, maybe 200, cause I'm not gonna be moving around too much. So I'm gonna start with some kind of like wider shots here. So I'll try this. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying my best to look at the camera as much as possible. Cause every time I take self portraits I'm always just looking away because I'm shy. <laughs> I've just got my leg up because I like that you can see just a little bit of my blue jeans there in the shot. Looking at the natural light versus studio light photos, I think both of them look good, but they do have different styles depending on what you're after. In the window light photos, the lighting is very soft and quite flat. There is no light or shadows that really define my facial features. While I do have light on my face that makes me stand out in the photo, to me, it looks a little 2D. What I like about the studio light is that I can control how contrasty or soft I want it to be. So for these photos today, I wanted some shadows on my cheekbones and on my jawline to make my face pop against the dark background. I also really like how the studio light accentuates the highlight on my cheekbones. I think that's really flattering. The catch light in both portraits looks really nice. They also look very similar to each other, which is what I was aiming for in my studio shots because I just love the rectangle catch light. The last lighting setup I wanna do for today's self portraits is actually gonna be a mixture of the two. So we're gonna have, you can see here in the little picture in picture, that we have the window light acting as the fill light on my face. And then this side, which is in the shadow, I'm gonna use the strobe to light up my portrait. So that's what we're gonna do for the last few shots. These are gonna be more ambient lit. So the background's not gonna be super dark like the first few photos we took, but I think this will be like a nice mixture between the two, just so we have some variety. <laughs> and I'm gonna be standing for these ones. Okay, so. Since the light is there, like the brightest light, I actually have to shoot on this side of my face just so it's like lit up a little bit nicer. <laughs> oh. I wasn't sure if that one was gonna focus. <laughs> Okay, and then I think I need some with like both my hands in the shot too. So maybe, oh, that's not cool. oh can I do that in time? <laughs> I don't have a timer on. Let's try. My hair back and I just want to get like one simple headshot photo because I think it'll be cool to compare all three photos together. So that is it for my self portrait shoot today. I have no more poses left in me to try, but I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I'd love to know which one were your favorite photos down in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more studio light stuff as well. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.